Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. Regular viewers of our YouTube channel have probably noticed we've installed a lot of different exhaust systems on my 2015 Mustang GT recently. We want to make sure that as a customer, you can hear every possible option before you decide what exhaust you want to go with. I'm not going to lie, it works for me as well, because that way I can hear the different systems and decide what I want to keep on my personal car. So far, I have the Ford Racing Touring, which I'm a fan of, but a couple of the systems we installed I have definitely liked. One I've really been looking forward to, though, is the Borla S-Type. I run Borla S-Types on previous cars and always love the tone of them, so today I'm going to install their cap back on my 2015 Mustang GT. The Borla system is made completely of high quality T304 stainless steel. It starts with a true X-Pipe to replace your heavy resonator, then it goes through two and a half inch mandrel bed piping, through a set of the Borla S-Type stainless steel mufflers, ending a set of their four inch polished double roll tips. We'll start off by giving you some stock sound clips, and then we'll get installed on our Borla. For this installation, we'll need a lift or a jack and jack stands, 3 8 ratchet, 13 millimeter shallow socket, 15 millimeter socket, 8 millimeter Allen key, 6 inch extension, and a flat blade screwdriver. Look, we've shown you many times in the past, removal of the stock system is actually quite easy, but we do suggest a second set of hands to make it easier. The first thing you want to do, remove the two bolts for the two rear brackets. Don't worry about removing the bolts, these actually have little hooks so they're not going to fall off. Now we'll move forward and loosen the clamps to hold the resonator to the front pipes. And you want to bend this tab up with a little stud that'll stop it. And you can slide the clamp down. Now you can pop these little hangers off here. Now the weight's gonna go forward, and you sort of shimmy the system forward off the rear clamps. We're gonna remove these clamps off the factory pipes. First, we're gonna install the factory clamps back on the factory pipes. Start by putting the Borla X pipe into the stock clamps. In the center of the X pipe and snug up these clamps. Don't tighten them all the way yet, you'll have to adjust them later. Once the X pipe's in place, we'll move on to the intermediate pipes. Put a clamp on the front here. and the factory hanger on the back. And put it up into place. Same thing with the clamp here, just snug it up so you can still move it. Now the same thing with the muffler, install the clamp first. up into the factory hanger. Snug the clamp and now we'll push it up where we want it. Check the fitment on the back and then tighten it down. Repeat the process on the other side. Once you're happy with the fit, we can tighten down with the X pipe next to the factory pipe. And the last step, the factory hanger bolts. And your installation is finished. Now we'll see how it sounds with the Borla S-Type. The s 
F-Type has a very signature sound. It has that aggressive raspiness. I know a lot of people were worried it's gonna sound a lot like the Ford Racing because Borla makes them. The S-Type has a completely unique tone. I always liked the Borla S-Type in my previous Mustang and absolutely love it on the 2015 as well. Like all Borla stuff, the fit and finish is top notch. The sound is nice and aggressive. Get really quiet when you're cruising on the highway, which is exactly what I was looking for. This system, I don't see me taking it off my car anytime soon. The installation's straightforward. It's gonna take around an hour. So be back on the road in no time. For more exhaust video options, make sure you check out our YouTube channel and check out cjpointyparts.com for the best selection of 2015 exhaust.